today we're going to make this little bad boy toned up alien round using this little impression mould I've mashed up together. Let's have it. Hello silver punks. As you can see we've got the sand cast impression made and here's our little mould. We're going to go for an alien head round this time, a little bit different, a bit of a departure. As you can see from this guy, I've actually cut up two prints and stuck them together. They just printed me out around and I already had the alien head from a couple of pours before. So I thought this time, rather than doing a, th a freestanding alien, we'll try and do them in a round because I'm, I'm enjoying doing some of the rounds. So I've glued them together, made the impression. Let's get on, get the furnace on and get pouring. Right then punks, here we go. As you can see, we're in the shed. Furnace is on and up to 1064, so we're nearly ready to pour. Pour number 54. This experimental circular, I don't know, circular alien portrait round. So I'll get the tongues warmed up and we'll get the pour on. Them ready. Right then, guys, just get me goggles on. Right then, let's have a look. Pool number 54. Oh, yeah, we've got the glow. Let's tip some in. Let's have it. Oh, look at that, guys. All went in. I think I had a hundred and well, there's a little bit left. I was just gonna say, I think it was 118 there, but oh, look at that, guys. Are you getting that? Look at the color of that. Oh, you yeah. oh, it's got a lovely back on it. I just hope this has come out. An experimental pour, I had a bit come over the top as you saw, but oh, here we go. Oh yeah, we're getting the nice cooling rings, nice colours. Here it goes, here it goes. It's quite a deep pour this one so it is taking quite a while to solidify on top. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Oh, right then, <coughs> excuse me. Let's get it flipped over and see, see what we've done. Oh, it's a chunk. Oh my word. Oh, I've got the wind, the shed door shutting on me. Oh, bear with me a sec, guys. Oh, it's all kicking off here. Oh, guys, look at that. I can't get you, mate. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, he's come out well. Oh, oh just bear, bear with me, guys. This is um, a bit hotter than expected. A bit flamey. Oh, yeah, guys. Please with this bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Skull in a round, looking like he's being dug up. Lots of fire. I'll get you guys turned around for the quench now. Ugh. Right, here we go guys, quench time. Pour number 54, big chunker. He is a big chunker. Just pick him up. Oh guys, look at that, are you getting that? Oh yeah. Catching. Oh, look at that bad boy. Oh, I'm so pleased with this guy. Let's get in there straight away. Oh, yeah, look at him, guys. An alien coming out of a round. Look at that side. That side looks fantastic. That looks cool because it's flat. Alien coming out, the, out of a round. Look at that. That is a lovely pull. In my view, obviously, it's each to the round, but I like an alien. 
Oh, I think he stands up nice. Look at that. That is cool. Pleased with that. Right, guys. A bit, bit of a burn on his head there, but that'll come off. That's just a bit of burnt sanding with it. A bit of graphite pollution. So we'll get rid of that. A little bit of sanding. Graphite on the back. I'll get him inside. And we'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah. Here we go, guys. Then I, I just come back out from the furnace. As you can see, I'm really pleased with this little guy. He's got a bit of a scorch mark on his head there, but we'll sort that out on the top of his swede. But he's come out really well. Look at this guy. Alien head coming out of a round with a kind of a mould that I've constructed myself using a couple of bits that ju the judge printed out. So, yeah, very pleased. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Coming out the round, nice, nice in the hand, nice chunky paw. There's the back of it. I've got some clean up to do, as you can see. It's quite a bit of clean up. Are you getting that? But what I'll do now, I'll get him cleaned up. And then I'll show you the toning. Right then, here we go. Straight on with the toning. And I'll get him in. Uh, I'll be totally honest, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, as, as always with the toning, as you know, guys. I really do just go with the flow and see what happens so I've, I've got a little idea in my head but we'll we'll see what happens yeah we'll see what happens I'm not going to say because it normally always turns out totally different I kind of stuck myself and do something different but I kind of know what I want to do so let's pop him in and we'll see what see how he comes out and see what I do I don't know if you can actually see there around the side there I have actually marked up and hammered that side because that was pretty plain compared to the left hand side just the way it come out so I have hammered that and I've also hammered all around the edge done a hammer design around the edge which you'll see in a sec but it's starting to oh yeah it's starting to tone nicely now you getting that so yeah I've got a couple of ideas oh yeah So we just have to see. Although I'm liking that, I've got to admit, I'm liking that. I'm loving the gold effect. My idea was, I'll, I'll, I'll let it out, I wanted the back, the circle, the round, really dark. And then I was going to polish the portrait of the alien and then put it back in and tone it again. So we've got a lighter tone on the island and quite a iridescent back. That was that. That's my aim. But look at that, guys. That's come out super. Look at that. Oh man. I don't know if it's leaving like that now. Look at the colours on that. Look at the colours. Oh, that's just superb. No, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that, I just, I think it's cool. I mean, my plan was, it was to shine his head back and do his head a completely different colour. Do it more just like a pale gold. And then leave the back all iridescent. I'm kind of liking that, oh, I don't know. What I'll do, I'll dry him off, and if we're back at the toning, then you know that I've decided to clean it off and go for more toning. Right then, so here we are, guys. As you can see, I resisted the urge. All I did was, what I did was, I just took took it back slightly on, on the head to a silver, as, you, as I think you're getting. It's quite hard to hold it without me getting in the way, but as you see, look at the colours on that bad boy. So, so pleased how he's come out. As I said, I hammered the edge round here to make the pattern. I also hammered all round the outside. So we've got a nice pattern there. And just put, look at the toning, look at the colours on that. Look at the colours on that bad boy. He's come out so, so well. So happy. So there you have it, punks. That was Silver Punk Paw number 54. Yep, 54. The only trouble I had, the stamping was quite difficult because, you see, it's quite... Wouldn't sit flat to do the stamping, so I had problems with the stamping. But overall, very pleased. Silver Punk Paw 54. If you like that, please do subscribe as we've got a lot more coming soon. Some more alien paws and some, some very cool stuff coming down the line. So I'll see you guys next time for the next paw. Cheers.